in the vast and ever evolving landscape of the internet where virtual worlds intertwine with reality a chilling phenomenon lurks beneath the surface of discord welcome my dear viewers to a journey that will take us into the hearts of darkness as we explore the discord predator iceberg discord a virtual haven for gamers artists and communities where friendships are forged and creativity thrives but like any other digital paradise shadows can be found lurking in the corners today we lift the veil of a hidden menace that threatens the very fabric of this beloved platform embrace yourself for this riveting voyage as we delve into the chilling headlines that have captured the world's attention. But beware, those are just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface lies an intricate web of deceit, manipulation and unsuspecting victims caught in the predator's grasp. This is the Discord Predator Iceberg. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be stood up vlogging the intro to this video because there's no light in my room and you can't really see my face no matter how hard I try. And welcome to the third part of trying to find the worst predators on different platforms. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really means the world. And it's been about 10 days since my last upload and I just wanted to say I missed you. I wanted to say thank you for the support of my last video. I've gained a lot of new people to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Discord Predator Iceberg and Discord it's worse than TikTok. This is the Discord Predator Iceberg. The tip of the iceberg, Jikishi. Jikishi was a Minecraft YouTuber who was destined for greatness until he wasn't. But who is Jikishi? Demetrius Matson, born on the 28th of May 1999, also known online as Jikishi, is a former American YouTuber, Twitch streamer, and TikToker, infamous for being in the Dream SMP for just two days until he was banned on October 25th, 2021. Jikishi's rise was fast as his massive support from his community resulted in him being noticed by Dream, which in turn resulted in him being raided. Wait, what? 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 Huh? He Hello? What? There's no way. Wait. Wait. Yo, what the what? Welcome everybody. What the? Hello and welcome to the stream everybody. What? This raid resulted in a massive growth in all his social medias, his Twitch, Twitter and YouTube tripling or even quadrupling in engagement and subscribers. Jikishi had an innocent and likeable personality resulting in people loving his content, but his seemingly innocent facade would soon be unmasked as Jikishi had a dark secret lingering. My experience with Jikishi Demetrius. This tweet was made on the 26th of October 2021 and this was the beginning of the end for Jikishi. Two days after joining the Dream SMP, a Twitter user by the alias Valkyrie or Ren opened up a essay claims against Jikishi. In the tweet was attached a tweet longer detailing everything, and I mean everything. The tweet longer went on to claim that Jikishi was 18, 19 when they both exchanged nudes while Valkyrie was still a minor, and he even spoke about meeting up with her. She went on in the tweet longer. If we would have met up that summer, I would have been just 15 and he would have been 20, alone in a hotel with a man who said he would try not to make sexual advances on me. She closes the tweet longer by saying, I can no longer ignore it as his audience of young and impressionable girls is growing by the second. I blocked him on Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram several months ago after we eventually grew apart. Please be careful who you keep close and who you give a platform to. And at the bottom of the twill longer were screenshots from the Discord conversations backing up her claim, ruining Jikishi. After Ren came out with the allegations, other users also came out with essay allegations against the Twitch streamer, causing Dream to come out on his private Twitter, removing Jikishi from the Dream SMP and cutting all ties with him. This is the end of Jikishi. He didn't even try to issue an apology as he simply disappeared. His Twitch channel was terminated for breaking to EOS. He would delete every single video on his YouTube channel. His TikTok was deleted and his Instagram followed quickly after. And even his merch store was taken down completely. Jikishi became an internet ghost, a relic of what not to be on the internet. Arnold Castillo. Arnold Castillo, also known as Jaden Shadlitsky on Roblox, was a popular Roblox developer who was known for creating multiple Roblox games, including a popular Sonic the Hedgehog knockoff called Sonic Eclipse Online. But on July 2020, Arnold Castillo was federally charged with child SA crimes and is facing up to two life sentences. Beginning sometime in February 2022, Castillo used Roblox and Discord to communicate with a minor child from central Indiana with the goal of luring her to New Jersey for illicit sexual purposes. Most of the conversation was had on a Discord server dedicated to his Roblox games. He also communicated with several other minors in private messages. In these private messages, he would apparently engage in suggestive conversations with these younger users. Why he would claim 
claim in his own YouTube channel that he would never act on these messages and they were mere jokes, his behavior became serious enough to involve the FBI. In 2022, some users became concerned that Arnold had not been active on his Discord server for some time, but it was eventually revealed that Arnold was reportedly placed into police custody by the FBI. As of this video, he's said to be currently facing two life sentences and a criminal fine of up to half a million dollars. Allegedly, Arnold had taken interest in a 15-year-old girl on his Discord server, sending cash to her to get her to travel across state lines to his location. After the girl was reported missing, an investigation was opened into his messages and transactions at the time. This actually happened May 3rd, 2022, as he coerced and enticed the minor to travel from Indiana to New Jersey for illicit purposes. Arnold paid and arranged for an Uber driver to pick up the minor and to transport her across state lines. Investigators traced the minor to an address in Patterson, New Jersey, and on the 11th of May, 2022, investigators recovered the minor from Castillo's residence and later reunited her with her mother. New Jersey's authorities arrested Castillo in state charges and he was charged on the sealed federal court in Indianapolis the following morning. On the 12th of May 2022, he actually appeared before a federal magistrate judge in a district of New Jersey and he was detained and removed to the Southern District of Indiana to face charges. Cyrus Cyrus, born on the 24th of July in 2003, is a former American YouTuber known for his commentary videos. He amassed a massive audience on YouTube with over 1 million subscribers. His content style was kind of a result of the infamous Leafy's hairstyle videos. And this type of content basically entails different YouTubers talking about or even bullying different people with CSGO surfing clips as the background footage. It seemed that he capitalized off the eradication of Leafy's hair in 2020 as there was a massive hole in the market for this type of content. Cyrus became very popular on YouTube at a very young age in 2018 when he was just 15 years old, gaining an audience of edgy teens that loved cyberbullying videos. But everything would all come crashing down in January 2023 as a Twitter user by the name of Indigo came forward with how Cyrus had groomed her using Discord. In her tweet longer, she stated how in late 2019 she met the YouTuber through some mutual friends and how the relationship started when she was just 15 and he was 17. She went on to then describe how she was emotionally abused by the YouTuber. She stated the biggest situation is when the YouTuber was sexting a 12 or 13 year old when he was 17 and he still had these underage photos of his fans when he was 19 years old. She had many screenshots to back up her claims and Cyrus actually admitted to some of these claims in an apology video he made titled I hurt a lot of people. I'm gonna start this by being as blunt as I can. I've been fucking up for a really long time and I've been hurting a lot of people especially a lot of women on the internet and I, I just can't keep going on receiving all this positive support and pretending like everything is fine daily uploading like I, I'm not fucking up every day. I just want to be completely honest with you guys as I've been being honest with all of the girls that I had basically let on and hurt for so long. I've grown up on the internet for just about my entire life and every single phase I've gone through, every single negative part of me that I've gone through, other people have had to experience on here. And it's a lot easier to mask in a 10 minute video than it is with people that I talk to every single day of my life. Seth the Programmer Gale, or as most people know him, Seth the Programmer, is an American YouTuber known for his very interesting anime videos and animes like Naruto and Death Note. He's also a very prominent power scaler in the anime community, but Seth was recently exposed by his ex-editor Clyde in a now unlisted nearly three hour long video where he and some other people accused Seth of many things including lying, stealing money, calling friends without permission, sexual harassment, grooming madness and many more. But I'm only going to be covering the predatory aspects of this allegation. The whole such situation has actually been very messy and hard to uncover from his outright disturbing jokes on Discord where he says he should be able to have intercourse with a four-year-old on Keemstar's stream. You know, like when I send messages like I should be able to throw f a four-year-old or whatever, it was literally just like shock value humor because I was like a fucking, I was growing up, like, you know what I mean? Yo, I, I didn't, that was it. You made a very, I say, very, uh, shit I was very edgy joke. Yes. And not only that, but I was also a debater, right? So Bro, it, I it's mean, a, it, when he actually tried to justify and explain his predatory behavior on his Discord server. The reason the satire girl is so angry is because I, at some point um, I started like making fun of her for being ugly. Like I used to make fun of her for being like a fucking five head, having like a big ass forehead. And she would then like ran to this group of, you know, this is where she met Abraham, a server where everyone hated me. And I would just like talk to her about it. Like she was ugly and I'm like, yeah, nice uh, pancake Ariel. Yeah, nips, abuse. You ugly bitch or something like yeah, I was just abuse. being, a I was being, I was being, I was being a loser. What, I, what I'm saying is, is like, yes, I treated her like shit. 
right? Which is why she's trying to like turn on me at the end of this. Right? Okay. For Seth, before you apply, let me go. Let me go to wait. Okay. I just have a hard time understanding something. How are you trying to justify asking a 16 year old for nudes by saying that you also verbally abused a 16 year old? This situation led to more and more of his behaviors with minors on his Discord server being exposed. And in some of these, the victim was as young as 16 and he was in his 20s. In some of the messages, Seth pressured these minors into sharing nude photos with him and he would publicly talk about and shame them about it. And he yeah. got people to harass me. Point, so. Man. That Nate guy that you said it was such a joke, well, he got Nate to harass me on my personal Facebook. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. Because for so long, no one believed me. <laughs> and I tried so hard to get people to believe me, and he made fun of me for years. Even when I came out two years ago, when this... Line Maker. Marcos Walton, or Line Maker, is a Belgian Minecraft YouTuber known for his essay allegations. On September 19th, 2015, the first allegation against Walton surfaced through a drama alert interview with a parent who exposed him for coaxing their underage child to provide him with nude pictures. The second allegation against him was March 7th, 2016, where fellow British YouTuber Colossal was crazy, exposed Walton as a P. He also stated that Walton was a master manipulator towards children. He said that Walton Walton knew how to interact with kids and groomed them to get explicit content out of them. The third allegation against Lion Maker was November 6, 2015, where he actually ended up on Colossal's Crazy's podcast in a feeble attempt to defend himself. He was unsuccessful in this matter because he was guilty. However, despite the hate he was receiving for being outed as a P, he wasn't lawfully reprimanded. It wasn't until late 2016 that he was arrested on account of statutory R, as well as distribution and possession of CP. On the 17th of December 2018, Nearly a year after his release from prison, another victim of his essay page came forward with a video on her own personal channel explaining what happened between them and how she endured three years of his gross sexual misconduct. And on September 29th, 2020, Landmaker's channel was finally terminated on account of violating YouTube's terms of services. He tried to return to the internet a year prior and he's kept making attempts since then, but is being met with an audience that doesn't want him back. The surface of the iceberg, Kielagish, Kelvis Garamanian, also known as Kilogish on YouTube is a former German YouTuber who was known for his Roblox and Friday Night Funkin' videos, gaining him over half a million subscribers before his termination. But his YouTube career quickly came crashing down when on August 2021, he was exposed for being a pedo by forcing minors to send him nudes on his Discord server and being inappropriate despite being over the age of 18. He had also admitted to being in a relationship with a 14-year-old girl when he was 18 and having very disturbing conversations with a minor despite being over the age of 20. In these messages, he can be seen trying to justify and explain why he's dating or talking to a 14 year old, claiming that she doesn't act 14 and she's very mature for her age. But these leaked messages spread all over the internet, and a Roblox news Twitter account even got a hold of the situation and tweeted about it. And in the tweet, there are some screenshots of him admitting to everything. And on August 24th, 2021, Kilogish accepted an invite to an interview with a YouTuber Scrimzog speaking about the whole situation. Uh, sorry about it if my voice is a little bit bad. It's just um i've been awake for like hours upon hours so yeah so all right I, you I, I, I imagine you can't sleep huh yeah at all like at all like i have this pain in my chest and my stomach that i can't even eat like i look at food i want to puke <laughs> but okay enough victimization so i think you already read like everything right in other post yeah i've done i've run over everything pretty much Okay, have you like um also are you like all um yeah recently I was just sent new info regarding a one sec. So, hold let on me see sec. let me guess fourteen year old? Yeah. I was seventeen at the time turning eighteen then I broke it off. I already told that all to Koneko and stuff. Yeah, but it's, it's like, like it's it's like it's like multiple people in the past. It's not just like a one off mistake, you know? It's like it's like But I was seventeen. Like, back then, I just thought, okay, high school relationship, high school is 14 to 18, so, like, I didn't say anything wrong back then. Was Not to mention, like... When you exchanged with the 14-year-old? I was 17, as I said, but yeah, we were. Both sides. Right, 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 so it's still, still illegal. Really? Yeah. Uh, you oh. just, you distributed child yourself and received it from the girl. I see. Okay. Well... Also, so you know, um, was my, she the, was like my first, yeah. The fifteen-year-old, when you were twenty, right? Nadine. Yeah. Um. I was, I was nineteen or twenty. Yeah, one of them. 
like yeah. like old 19 early 20. Uh, I just wanted to show you something real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so by definition, that 15-year-old and 20, that was by definition, it was five years apart. And on August 31st, 2021, Kilogish will get taken off the Roblox Star program, which is a program for successful YouTubers, and his account was straight up deleted from the Roblox platform. And finally, on September 20th, 2021, his YouTube channel would be terminated. Yagami Yato. Yagami Yato is a voice artist who created voiceovers for animation videos, usually from different animes. She amassed a massive following on YouTube of over 800,000 subscribers. Some of her work is considered to be NSFW, not safe for work, which has led to recent controversy around accusations that she had been promoting obscene materials to children and even allegations of grooming minor. An anonymous Twitter account referring to themselves as Yagami Yato's confession claimed that Yagami had groomed them when they had joined her server as a teenager in high school. The tweet went to talk about how the grooming had started when they were in their later years in high school. The account alleged that Yagami had used sexually explicit comments around them and had made light of the warnings to her that she wouldn't make NSFW materials to minors. The account also accused Yagami of sending them sexually explicit audios from her Patreon accounts and they also claimed that she began ignoring them when they turned 18. After the allegations, Yagami Yato chose to either remove or lock down all her social media accounts and she also released a lengthy statement on her YouTube channel addressing the allegations. She started by apologizing to everyone who had been affected by the situation and she also thanked the fans who decided to stick by her. While admitting that she had made mistakes in the past, she denied all the accusations of grooming, stating that while I've unintentionally made transgressions in the past, these allegations are absolutely and unequivocally false. She also added, I have never pursued a romantic or sexual relationship or tried to solicit anything from any of my fans. She then stressed that as an influencer she will need to be more careful in how her personal interactions with her fans are perceived. Tyler Chase Compton Tyler Chase Compton is a 19 year old from Milton who was arrested and charged with 20 counts of possession of obscene materials after uploading CP to Discord. Tyler was arrested on September 14th, 2021 and charged with 20 counts of possession of CP and in December 2021, deputies with the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office received a tip on a cyber tip line. It actually seems that Discord was the one who supplied the tip. Deputies went on to describe the disgusting images that were uploaded onto Discord and on February 4th, 2022, they subpoenaed AT&T which was Tyler's phone service regarding the number and the address of Tyler's home in Milton. Deputies also subpoenaed Discord but they said the account had been deleted but the deputies were able to track down his IP address showing the same address connecting to his AT&T network and on April 18th 2022 deputies executed a search warrant at the address and seized the HP laptop paper with an email address and passwords a CCK USB a Samsung cell phone and an Acer desktop computer miscellaneous CDs a red USB 5x7 papers a blue cell phone a TLC cell phone and an iPhone and in total there were at least over 100 counts of CP found in his possession, the body of the iceberg, Joseph Suarez. Joseph Suarez is a 31 year old man from Hudson County. He was found in possession with a massive amount of CP in connections with a crime against a four year old girl. Joseph Suarez was charged with aggravated essay, conspiracy to commit aggravated essay and possession of CP with an intent to distribute via discord. About a week before his charges, the Houston County Prosecutor's Office Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force received information that child sex abuse material was being created and shared through the social media platform Discord. Authorities connected Suarez to the material and found that he had communicated with a 13 year old boy out of state convincing the teen to provide images and or videos of himself committing disturbing acts on a 4 year old girl. This resulted in Suarez's residence being searched resulting in over 1000 files of CP materials being found but it turns out this wasn't his first offence. It turns out Suarez had actually been previously charged endangering the welfare of a child and facilitating CP and possession of CP. But it's actually unknown how much time he received in jail. The NJ arrest. The NJ arrest is the arrest of 31 men who were accused of sexually exploiting children online using Discord. It was said that the suspect possessed and or distributed videos and images of CP, including in many cases videos of very gruesome acts. And it seemed that Discord and other gaming and chat apps were used by these degenerates
needs to lure in their victims and distribute these disturbing pictures and videos. But here are some of these 31 men. Carl Ali Wallace, a 29 year old restaurant employee of Neptune Townships, he was arrested on the 14th of May 2021 on the charges of distribution of CP in the second degree and the possession of CP in the third degree. Derek J. Ananab, a 39 year old medical assistant of Homedale, he was arrested on the 17th of June 2021 on charges of distribution of CP in the second degree and the possession of CP in the third degree. Ryan Becker, a 32 year old warehouse worker based in South Amboy, he was arrested on the 30th of June 2021 on charges of distribution of CP in the second degree, possession of CP in the third degree and tampering with evidence in the fourth degree. James Camel, a 65 year old unemployed man based in Cherry Hill, he was also arrested on the 30th of June 2021 on the charges of possession of CP in the third degree. Adam Cohen, a 45 year old unemployed man based in Oxford. He was also arrested on the 30th of June 2021 on the charges of essay in the second degree and the possession of CP. John Coluzzi, a 22 year old train operator for the NYC Transit based in Manalapan, New York. He was arrested on the 5th of May 2021 on charges of distribution of CP in the second degree and possession of CP in the third degree. El Eugenio D'Alessandro, a 52 year old unemployed man based in Woolwich. He was arrested on the 11th of May 2021 on possession of CP in the third degree. Jonathan Dunstan, a 53 year old truck store employee based in Pemberton. He was arrested on the 4th of June 2021 on charges of distribution of CP in the second degree and possession of CP in the third degree. Peter Escal, a 45 year old technology manager based in Perth Amboy. He was arrested on the 24th of June 2021 on charges of distribution of CP in the second degree and the possession of CP in the second degree. It was said that Peter possessed over 80,000 files of CP on his hard drive. Gareth Flynn, a 22 year old retail store associate based in Washington Borough. He was arrested on the 23rd of June 2021 on charges of possession of CP in the second degree of over 1000 photos and videos. Aaron Zeman. Aaron Zeman is a 26 year old man who was taken into custody by the Grand Island Police Department after a gas station attendant reported his vehicle. But you're probably wondering why was he taken into custody Sasu? Well in 2022 an amber alert was issued for a teenage boy Evan McConney in Layton City, Utah after he reportedly left his parents home late on a Monday night to meet Aaron. The victim's parents had told authorities that her son was having inappropriate sexual conversations with a man he met online while playing Roblox and VR chat, eventually leading to the kid being abducted. It was also reported that Aaron asked a teenager to bring his passport with him before meeting up with him. It was also known Aaron had a Twitter account that had all manners of sick and disturbing imagery together with messages in the lead up to the 13 year old's disappearance from Leighton, Utah. A number of people pleaded with Aaron over Twitter to release the child. Some saying, give him back you jerk, that's my friend. This was actually tweeted by someone that went to school with the missing teen. But in a series of Twitter posts posted a month that led up to the abduction, Zimmon could be seen allegedly interacting with the child that he referred to as his lamb. Howard Graham. Howard Graham is a 33 year old man who has been accused and is being charged with the sexual exploitation of a minor, R word in a minor, statutory R and many more disturbing charges. It was reported that Graham drove over 13 hours from Georgia to Topeka on the 20th of February 2022 to pick up a teenage victim he met on Roblox. Graham and the victim had only met two days prior to him driving down on the 18th of February but he managed to convince the child to run away from home with him. It was said he had the victim for four days from Sunday night to Thursday. During this time he had essayed the underage victim many times but after being assaulted by Graham the victim told one of his roommates she wanted to go home but they were under the impression she was his stepdaughter but she then explained to them that she wasn't his stepdaughter and they met on Roblox which resulted in the roommates confronting Graham forcing him to take her to a local dollar store and letting her go. The young girl was able to get a hold of her parents informing them and the police of where she was and the police were able to reunite her with them. Soon after she was reunited with her parents, officers found Graham at his workplace, swiftly arresting him. Sean Barber is a 29 year old man who was the director of the music ministry at St. Paul's ex parish in Portland. On April 13th, 2023, Sean Barber and five other men were taken into police custody after the conclusion of an investigation. The investigators posed as underage boys and girls on a number of online dating platforms and other chat sites like Discord. Sean Barber and the other five men fell for the trap and was talking to the supposed underage victim on Discord, even trying to meet up in person with the investigators for sexual purposes. But upon his arrival, he was quickly reprimanded and taken into police custody. 
Baba at the age of 29 was the oldest of those arrested, with the other suspects ranging in age from 19 to 27. Baba and the other suspects were charged with felony crimes of luring a minor and online sexual corruptions of a child in the first degree. It was said that after an April 14th arraignment, Baba was released, but Baba was set for a peripheral hearing on April 21st. As a result of his crimes, his contract with St. Paul was terminated and he lost his job. The depths of the iceberg, Callum Lacey. Callum Lacey is a 33-year-old man based in Southampton and on March 2021, Callum Lacey was arrested after he was investigated and he pleaded guilty to intentionally communicating with and encouraging a person under the age of 16 to send sexual messages. It was reported that he was messaging these minors via Discord and Telegram between October 2020 and the 31st of March 2021. Callum Lacey also pleaded guilty to intentionally causing or inciting a girl under 16 to engage in sexual activities. This took place through online conversations with the teenage girls between March 1st, 2020 and the 31st of July, 2020. Callum was arrested in March 2021 and was charged November 1st last year. He was sentenced to two years in prison and a sexual harm prevention order with conditions was placed on him for five years, meaning if he breaks these conditions, he will be committing further offence and he will also be placed on the sex offender register for 10 years. Mayuras Shuresh Shire Mayuras Shuresh Shire is a 26-year-old man residing in Matthews, North Carolina. He was sentenced to 14 years in prison for the distribution of CP via Discord. This sentence was handed down by the US Western District of North Carolina. Alongside his prison sentence, Ayers was ordered to pay a $35,000 fine and to serve 25 years of supervised release. He was further mandated to pay restitutions to his victims and required to register to a sex offender list following his release from incarceration. The law enforcement actually traced the illicit activities to Ayers in October 2019. They discovered that he was using his Discord account to distribute CP. Upon an execution of a search warrant at Ayers' residence, multiple electronic devices, including two external hard drives, were seized, and a subsequent forensic analysis of these devices uncovered extensive collections of CP in Ayers' possession, comprising of over 800 videos and approximately 14,147 images of CP. Some of these materials in his possession disturbingly depicted prepubescent minors subjected to sadistic abuse. The case was pursued as part of a Project Safe Childhood, a nationwide initiative that the Department of Justice launched in 2006 with the goal of combating the escalating online sexual exploitation of children by combining resources, federal, state and local agencies, they can more effectively locate, apprehend and prosecute individuals who exploit children over the internet and can also identify and rescue victims. And can also identify and rescue victims. Joshua Warner. Joshua Warner is a 24-year-old man from Elkins Park, Montgomery County. He was placed under arrest on multiple charges related to sexually assaulting a minor and the production and possession of CP. Warner's alleged actions were brought to light by the Office of Attorney General and the Upper Moorlands Township Police Department with his crimes involving the exploitation of a child he met online using Discord. Warner is set to face seven felony charges, these including two counts of unlawful contact of a minor, one count of statutory SA, one count of aggravated indecent assault, one count of manufacturing CP, one count of possession of CP, and one count of criminal use of a communications facility. The charges stem from Warner's interactions with a 14-year-old victim whom he met on the social media platform Discord. Warner had been in contact with the minor via this platform and had arranged a meeting to meet with her, during which he allegedly committed SA. The investigation further revealed that Warner filmed the criminal act, storing the evidence on his phone. And after his arrest at his home, Warner was detained at the Montgomery County Correctional Facility and his bail was set at 250000 Jose Paniaga Jose Paniaga is a 27-year-old man who was convicted of being a sexual predator, facing charges of aggravated essay of a child under 14. These charges come from a horrifying incident involving an 11-year-old girl from Missouri City who he reportedly met online on Discord. Court records indicate that Jose connected with the minor through the chat and application Discord. She was under the impression that she was communicating and eventually meeting up with a 13-year-old boy as Jose managed to manipulate his victim and tragically assaulted her multiple times. The court documents revealed that these assaults took place in his apartment on the 9th of July where the girl was bound with a leather belt and forced to engage in sexual acts, leaving visible markings all over her body. This situation was made even worse, which I don't possibly know how this could get any more disturbing as Jose was on probation at the time for similar crimes as he had also preyed on a 
a minor but from a different county. Jose told the investigators that he initially thought she was a 22 year old woman. I'm not really sure how you could mistake an 11 year old girl for a 22 year old woman but the 11 year old victim was later discovered hiding in Jose's attic above his bedroom. She was then taken from the attic and returned to her grandmother. This was only possible due to her grandmother tracking the child's cell phone to the same apartment earlier that month but the amount of time Jose got for these crimes is still unknown. Demetrius Katopoulos Demetrius Katopoulos is a 41 year old man from Yonkers, New York who was sentenced to a prison term of 3 to 6 years. His sentencing is linked to a serious CP charge which included sharing illicit material through social media, more specifically Discord. These egregious actions were not his first encounter with the law as Demetrius was already on probation for a previous sex offence conviction at the time of his arrest, further compounding his legal predicament. The charges leading to his most recent sentencing included uploading a digital file containing sexual explicit images of a child onto Discord. Additionally, he was found in possession of CP, reinforcing the severity of his offences. Compounding his crimes, Demetrius also failed to comply with the legal obligations associated with being a registered sex offender. He neglected to inform the state's Division of Criminal Justice Services about a new email address that he was using. This is a mandatory requirement for all registered sex offenders as a measure to keep track of their online activities. Upon investigation, it was discovered that Demetrius used this undisclosed email address to access Discord, the same platform on which he committed these heinous crimes that led to his imprisonment.